I guess I'll show you how to assemble a knobbly bed from Ikea, that's the one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, if yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always, made my day. And don't forget to check out the review on the bed, they're gonna leave link in the description and you can see it somewhere here as well. Let's do it now. Starting with the four legs, you're gonna have four plastic legs, it's kind of protections for the floor. Just secure them in. Two screws, this is the side panels, side legs, the long ones, this is gonna be the front of the bed. Two screws on the inner side, those are different shaped than these ones. There's gonna be four of these at the bottom of the leg. Second long leg, front one, two screws on the inner side and four screws on the bottom of the leg. Those four are different again than those two on the inner side. Headboard of the bed, we have four nuts, just place them in and push them completely in to the hole. Don't forget to position the nut in the right direction so the holes are lining up with the holes in the side. Wooden plugs and we can secure the headboard with the leg. Just push that in. If it's hard you can lift it up and secure it this way. Locking screw this is quite hard to put that in because it's a, it's a long hole and the screw is very small so just place it in by magic and secure it not a very good system on those this is gonna be the dividing panel one wooden plugs and two big locks on the side position the arrow in the right direction and place the lock exactly the same on the other side one wooden plug and two locks arrow in the right direction place them in you can secure them between the legs first on the one side then on the other side you secure the second leg find the right hole stop it all in close as you can and secure the locks at this point you should have the locks in the right direction and you can twist them so lock them completely in Exactly the same on the other side, you get close as about 2mm from the leg and then you start to twist the lock till they are not lining up completely with the leg. Secure the second part, that's the locking screws, nightmare locking screws I must say. They're very small and the holes are very long, so make sure you get it for the first time otherwise you're gonna have a hard time to take them out. This is the small legs, it's gonna be the bottom of the bed you're gonna have two small legs, four screws, just secure them in. Dividing panel is gonna be on the back of the bed, exactly the same at the front. Two wooden plugs, one on each side and two big locks on each side. Don't forget to position the arrow on the locks in the right direction. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's important. You're not gonna be able to lock the dividing panel with the leg if you didn't position the arrow in the right direction. I got a lot of question about that, that's why I'm repeating it. Exactly the same here. Secure one after the other one. And we have the bottom part of the bed ready. Dividing panels. You're gonna have one wooden plug on each side, two big locks, exactly the same. Arrow where? In the right direction. <laughs> other side exactly the same, two locks on each side, one wooden plug. Secure it, position the locks and we can place the side panels connecting the headboard, find the right holes, secure the locks one and after another one, make sure it's tightened completely, you're not gonna have wobbly frame, exactly the same on the other side, position it and secure the locks. the bottom of the bed connect together one side the other side and secure the locks I get so many questions about these locks people struggling with it not sure if it's the not sure if it's the instructions for that here provide not taking you there but if you're watching this video you should be fine two long rails one on each side, secure them with the screws. Here we're gonna put the wooden slats. 
is going along the side panels, exactly the same on the other side. You can position the rails depend on the thickness of your matrats, lower or higher. We go in with the higher ones. Two brackets, gonna secure the mid beam. Two screws on each of the bracket and two small screws on the side. I'm gonna explain later what for it is. Exactly the same on the bottom of the bed. One bracket, two screws and two small screws on the side. Two on the on the each uh, rail. Stoppers for the wooden slats. And just screw and plastic on the top, joined together for the L-shaped rail. Sit two at the front of the bed, two at the back of the bed. This mid beam, you're gonna have two stopper on a, two stoppers on each side. Just screws exactly the same for the mid beam to the plastic. Other side exactly the same, two stoppers, screw to the plastic. You can secure the mid beam, one side and another side. And this is the small screws. Basically, the bed should be at this point in the right position, which is 90 degree each corner. So those uh, those small rails gonna secure the bed in in that position. So one screw on the middle, one on the side, exactly on each rail. I secure it, lock it with one screw on the middle. Put the slats, place them on the stoppers at the front and the back, exactly the same the other side. Place them on the stopper and slide it in. Place the matrats, take about 4 hours till it uh, extends completely, so it's a bit fluffy right now. All done. Okay guys, so this is it, this is the Nordly uh, bed from Ikea. Hope you enjoyed the video, if yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. Made my day. And don't forget to check out my review on this bed, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And you can see somewhere here as well. And see you in my next one, very very soon. Thank you for watching, have a beautiful day. Don't forget to check out the video on the. Don't forget to check out the review.